Breaking news this noon, a fight broke out at a kindergarten graduation ceremony just a short time ago at a Cleveland Elementary School. Police on the scene right now, and we've just learned eight people have been arrested. This happened at Michael White Elementary School on East 92nd Street. The school right now is on lockdown. Photojournalist Bob Seely is on the phone. Bob, what are you seeing there? Well, I'll tell you, this is one of those sad, sad kind of things. A kindergarten graduation. You know, a happy time as your child gets ready to move into first grade, marred by people who should know better. At the end of the ceremony, uh, some young juvenile girls who were not going to the school, who were not part of it, and who evidently had had some bad blood between them, got into an argument. And their families jumped in along, each one to help their family member, and it turned into a melee. They came outside, several of them are juveniles, minimum of three, they're not even sure right now. They've been arrested, a total of eight people, almost all female, and a couple of weapons were confiscated outside, a hammer and a pipe. But uh, these were not used, there was nobody injured, and except for the, the scare that it gave the kids in the school, this went from in school, spilled out on the street. The police were called initially because the report was shots fired, but as they found out, that wasn't true. It was just a plain riot. The eight that were taken away have been charged with aggravated rioting, and they're still trying to figure out who everybody is at this point. So now parents are coming in. Their kids are leaving with them. As I come down, you see anxious parents running down the street, uh, holding cell phones and talking nervously because they're scared because of the kind of things that have happened around this country. They get a call like this. They are scared, and I think we can understand why. Definitely, Bob. Thanks for calling in and giving us that update. And of course, we will have more on this story on Newsnet5.com and also later on Live on 5.